How much is my mortgage payment about to increase? That is a question that I think not nearly enough Canadians are asking themselves in 2023. Because let's face it, not everybody in the country sits here on YouTube all day long researching the market. Nope, most people aren't like me. They actually have lives with pets and kids and demanding jobs. And let's face it, a lot of people have four seasons of succession to catch up on. So unfortunately, they just go on with their lives and don't even think about their mortgage until it's time for that renewal. And well, if you're like me and you last renewed your mortgage in 2018 on a five-year fixed rate, like all good little Canadians do, well, then you are up for renewal. Like I should be this year. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video to find out why I'm not up for renewal and how I managed to negotiate an extra two years of a very good fixed rate, but not until the end of the video. Because first I have to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you would like to stay up to date here on my real estate market of Surrey, BC. And if you could, please go ahead and do me the favor of clicking that like button. I have a feeling that we can get this video 300 likes. And then maybe magically YouTube through the algorithm will push this video out to every single Canadian who holds a mortgage that's renewing this year. So hopefully they will also start paying attention to the increased payments that are no doubt coming their way. Because as I said, I personally renewed my mortgage back in 2018 on a five year fixed rate. And that's because you see, originally I bought my home in 2013 for $701,000. At that time, we secured a fixed rate mortgage for five years at 3.79% after putting down 20%, which basically put me at about a $560,000 mortgage or approximately $2,600 per month. But as any mortgage here in Canada, that 3.79% was only good for five years. And so in June, 2018, I moved my mortgage to Manulife Bank because I wanted to take advantage of a product called the Manulife One. So at that time I had a balance remaining after the first five years and some extra lump sum payments of exactly $490,098.75 that was then transferred to Manulife, 300,000 of which went on to another five-year fixed term, this time at 3.59%. What a good deal. And then the rest went on to the Manulife one at 3.95%, which at that time was variable. And just so you're following, that then dropped my payment down to $1,512 per month on the fixed portion. And then the rest was then floating on the Manulife One account. But the HELOC portion is irrelevant here because after a whole bunch of hard work, scrimping, saving, and never signing up for Disney Plus, that portion is now paid off. So now that brings us up to date here in May of 2023. And five years into my term now, like most Canadians, I'm about to get smacked in the face or kicked in the pants with a much bigger bill each month because it's renewal time. But it's also not renewal time, but more on that in a sec. So now after five years, my remaining balance is $259,570.53. And although Manulife probably won't give me as low of a rate, other institutions on a five-year fixed rate with a non-CMHC mortgage would probably offer me around 5.14%. And before I end up sharing with you my new payment, this sounds like a great time to share with you the sponsor for today's video, Citywide Mortgage Services. Because Citywide is not just a sponsor, but they're actually my preferred independent mortgage brokers that I personally set up my Manulife One account with. And they're also a company that is now helping me shop for even better rates if I decide to change institutions. Because as mentioned today, I can probably secure a 5.14% rate through Citywide, while Manulife Bank, my current bank, is only offering me their equal product at 5.69%. So that means if I stick with my current lender at Renewal, Citywide wouldn't have the opportunity to save me $120 each month or $7,200 over the next five-year term. And they can also help with investment properties as well because my broker over at Citywide negotiated me a sub 2% mortgage with the Bank of Nova Scotia in the throes of the pandemic. So if you're looking for a mortgage, go ahead and start your mortgage application today 
with the Citywide Mortgage Services link down below in the description. So we can get back to the video and you can find out that my new payment is about to increase from $1,512 per month to now at least $1,733 or more. Yep, that's right. My new payment is going to be at least $221 more per month. And that begs the question, well, why do you care? Well, here's the actionable part of this video for you. You should expect that for every $100,000 that you currently owe on your mortgage, you will likely pay $592 per month if you renew sometime this year on a 25-year amortization. And that means that if you took out a mortgage in 2018 at 3.59% for 25 years, that your payment is about to increase from $505 per $100,000 that it's been and then that number will in fact jump to $667 per month if you stay on your same original payment plan to renew which is now only 20 years meaning that if you renewed in 2018 and remember those are the renewals that are coming up right now your payments are likely to increase at least $162 per month for every $100,000 that you owe on the maturity date. So if you owe $500,000, you had better figure out a way to start paying an extra $810 per month. Unless, of course, your mortgage is not actually renewing like mine, which I alluded to a little bit earlier. Because you see, if you were super smart like me and back in april 2020 after the first lockdown hit you were smart enough to call your lender and negotiate what they call a blend and extend like i did well now i'm actually secured into a 2.79 percent rate for an extra two years and if you want a full explanation of exactly how i did that go back and watch this episode of my podcast called the tom story show for a full breakdown thank you so much for subscribing clicking the like button and we'll see you in a couple of days.